Hello again. No end in sight in the battle for Amazulu royal throne. Princess Magat headed to the High Court in Pretoria today, and he wants the government's decision to recognize his brother, Mrs. Zulu, as king declared invalid and set aside. Prince Magat claims he is the rightful heir to the throne because he's the firstborn son of the late King Goodwill Zuelitini. Historically, contesting the throne is not uncommon. Well, let's find out why this has been the case. Mutula Twala is a historical studies lecturer at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Joins us now this afternoon on Today. Mutula, good afternoon. Welcome uh, to Today. Well, this is not the first time that uh, the throne is being contested, but maybe it may be the first time for many South Africans because King Kutul Zulitini was uh, on the throne for many, many years, and many South Africans grew up under knowing one Amazulu, Amazulu king. So tell us about the history of the contestation for the throne. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to you, to the viewers as well, and thanks for having me. Yes, historically, there has been wranglings over the succession uh, of the Zulu kingdom. But then, what is unique this time around is the fact that you have a, a, a democratic dispensation where we have got the presence of the courts that the other faction is using. But then historically, even the most known Zulu king, Shaga himself, ascended into the throne after having assassinated somebody called Skujana. That is why you had uh, the battles like the Battle of Makong of 1840, the Battle of uh, Ndundaksuga of uh, 1856. So this has always been a contested terrain. So... Zulu kingdom being one of the largest or biggest kingdoms in Africa, it is expected, particularly that uh, in the current scheme of things, you do have government involvement, which also include a lot of money. Yeah, so there's a, the new dynamic there, as you mentioned, money. But, I mean, who would be the rightful heir from the outside, from what one has heard and understood, is that because Mrs. Zulu is the son of the Queen Regent, the late Queen Manthombi, he would be the rightful heir. But uh, obviously, Prince Magata and his faction does not agree. Yes, we understand that Princess Magata is the firstborn of the first wife of the late King Kutul Zolitin. But traditionally, it does not follow that the firstborn of the first wife becomes the heir. Uh, ordinarily, we expect, or what has been the case over many years is that the king, even though he would have the first wife, among those who were his wives would have one that is called the principal wife. And the expectation is that the king or the successor or the heir would come from the union of uh, that uh, principal wife. And as far as we know, uh, the king, Mrs. Zulu, coming from the union of uh, 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 Mandombi, who was the principal wife, should be one of those that could qualify to become the king. But then the issue of who among those who uh, come from that particular union would be, those are matters that are, are, are ordinarily discussed within the royal house with the, the respect and decency it deserves. But ordinarily the adherents or the followers of the kingdom uh, rally around the king that uh, is shown to them. So this case, the Amazulu uh, uh, nation seems to have accepted Umesu Zulu because the, the wranglings or the rumblings are coming from within the Amazulu royal house itself and playing themselves out now in a court of law instead of in the privacy of the palace. Yes, you are correct. As I've already indicated, there is more into this this would not have even been the case previously because this wrangling would have manifested itself or shown itself out in the battlefields, as I've indicated. But today, in the current scheme of things, things have, uh, have changed. Uh, 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 one would not dwell on intricacies of the uh, 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 court arguments, being not, uh, not being a, a legal expert. But with the information uh, that I've just given you, I do not think that there is anything wrong with uh, 
Miss Zulu uh, 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 being uh, uh, made a king to the Zulu people in view of the fact that he comes from the union uh, 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 of the king, of the late king and the principal wife, uh, Queen Mantou Mbizamin. Yeah, so underlying what you've just said will be the fact that the government was not wrong in its recognition of King Mrs. Zulugaz Velitini as the rightful heir. But you think Prince Simakate's faction uh, is being uh, driven by what motives really? What would you speculate on? I think my brother will hear me very well answering that already. There are issues at play here. Under normal circumstances, when you are not a king and you, 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 you want your things to be taken over, ordinarily, when you, are a, when you are a commoner, things are assigned to your firstborn. But uh, the traditions within the Zulu uh, uh, kingdom, history and traditions, uh, the principal wife is the one who must bear yeah. the king. And uh, Mrs. Zulu is a child of that, is a product of that union uh, coming from uh, uh, the Queen late Manjobi, king, yeah. Uh, no, I, I understand king. that. That My yeah. question was different. Sorry uh, uh, to cut you there, Kutula. My question was, what could we speculate could be the real main driver for Prince Simagaja? Because the, the fact of the matter, as you've explained it, he, should, he has no leg to stand on uh, in that uh, there's nothing wrong, as you've said, in Mrs. Zulu having been recognized as a king. What could you think is driving Prince Simagaja? Is it money? Well, I would be handicapped to speculate and call him a person who's money uh, driven. But then there is an issue of resources, there is an issue of power here. And if there are uh, possible avenues for one to exploit, we have seen people uh, being convicted when they have not necessarily uh, committed uh, any crime. So I, I would think that uh, when you know that you are a Zulu king, after having learned how your father was treated and has gained the respect over many decades, and you want to be in that situation, even if you know that procedurally you are not supposed to do that because uh, there are things that are gained when one is, is a king. Currently, there is a budget from the... A, a province of KwaZulu Natal for the a, for the for the royal house. Uh, there, there is the issue of land, and there is the issue of knowing that you are a big person uh, who must be respected. I think that that those are the things that are driving mm. the, the, the the current ranking more than mm. any other thing. Thank you very much uh, for your insights. That's Gutula Twala. He's a historical history studies uh, lecturer at the University of KwaZulu Natal.